So to kick off this review, we're going to take a look at these minifigures. We do have a nice selection of exclusive minifigures, as we see here. So the first minifigure we're going to take a look at is Maz Kanata, probably the more desirable figure that we get. As you can see, she has, um, I think that's called a dark flesh tone color for her flesh tone, and it's really nice. Uh, she has a new mold for a head, and it's hard plastic, so it's really nice. And it's, uh, it's really cool. It has it's painted, but I do think that the eyes are a little bit too cartoonish. But that's just a nitpick. Other than that, I think it's fine. Uh, there's the chest printing. I think that's really nice. There's the back printing. That's nice as well. And he has the short, dark, red legs, which I don't like because they're not articulated. But I think it's fine. So yeah, our next figure is my favorite. But uh, this is Kylo Ren, and what's special about this Kylo Ren? is that he has a face underneath. But first, we're gonna take a look at this. You can see he has some really nice printing right here and on the legs. I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. His lightsaber is that interesting one where it's just two pieces, uh, just like that. It's not the best, but I think it's good with the Lego restraints. Uh, the helmet is obviously too big, but I think I can forgive this one a little bit more than the one from the uh, the ship, I don't, I don't remember what it's called at, at the moment, but I think it's really cool. The printing and the detail is really good, but it's just a little bit too big. Um, you can see it has this nice, nice cloth, um, just moving that out of the way to get a look at the back printing. This is like that stretchy cloth, it's not necessary, it's not, it's the newer style. Now here is his uh, head, and I think it's really nice. I don't really like this face as much, but... Um, when you turn it around, his alternate face is really good, I think, just like that. And this is a good opportunity to show you the hair piece that comes with him. And you, know, you can just put that on just like that. And that looks nice, too. So putting that back, uh, our next minifigure is Finn. Now, I really like this one because I really want a Finn. Uh, what's new here I re is uh, his face is nice. Like that face print, he also has double-sided face, I believe. Yes, he has teeth showing. Um, I really like his hairpiece. I believe it's new, but I'm not exactly sure. But it's that kind of style of hair. Um, his chest printing is great with the jacket. And there's his back printing, but there's no leg print. So I guess that's disappointing. Um, next, we have a... We just have two normal stormtroopers, but this one is the one that, you know, said traitor. I don't remember his name particularly. But yes, it's a great figure. The helmet is perfect, I think. The chest printing, the leg printing. Here's a look at the back printing. There's a look at the head. And we got two of them, but this one just has a custom build for the weapon. So that pretty much does it for all the minifigures. Now we're going to take a look at the bulk of the set, which is uh, Maz Kanata's castle right here. Now, um... I do have some problems with this, but first let's take at the pros, or look at the pros and the set itself. So starting from the front, you can see we have these two nice little pillars, and uh, the color scheme overall is really nice. You have dark tan, uh, this dark flesh colored yet again, and this dark bluish gray with some light bluish gray. I feel like they should have used a little bit more dark bluish gray to make it more movie accurate, but uh, what can you do? I do like this color. Now we have these two nice pillars, as I already mentioned, they're built pretty nicely, and you can remove them. I will just for the ease of this review. You can see we have nice, uh, a nice staircase going up, and you have some black studs. And it actually has an interesting feature, as I'll take a look at right here. There's a tab right here, as you can see. I actually have it pushed up, so there. Um, if you actually push on that really hard, it'll shoot studs everywhere, black studs to be exact. And uh, that's really interesting because. Um, I believe it's trying to symbolize, symbolize like explosions, small explosions of you know, debris and ash going everywhere, which is very interesting. I think it's cool. Uh, actually, we'll keep those out of the way. But here you can take a look at the shaping of the actual entrance, which is really nice. I like these the shaping on the side and especially up here towards the doors. That's nice. Uh, it has a nice banner here, which is printed. I really like that. But I just wish there were a couple more because in the movie, they had hundreds, or not hundreds, but lots of banners. I wish they could have like two or three maybe, but they don't. Uh, but what can you do? 
Um, as you can see, there's like a sticker right there. It's actually a nice sticker. There's not many stickers in this set at all. I think there's only two. The only other one is right there. That's a nice print right there, or sticker. Um, you can see that the door's open, and that just is caused by sliding, and it's really nice. Um, since we were going back there already, there's nothing back there. But uh, I really wish there was, but there really isn't anything back there. Not any, there's not even a hint at anything going back there. But I wish there was because if you remember in the movie, they had, you know, a whole cantina, but you know, they don't even have that. But I wish they did incorporate a little bit. I'm sure you can mock it up yourself, but whatever. Um, they went for something different. Now going on to this side, you can see that, I'll actually attach these back, but you can see that we, these uh, dark flesh colored brick pieces, one by twos, they're used everywhere. So if you want those parts, this is a good set. Uh, I do like the shaping over here with the arches, um, it looks nice. This actually can move to get different shaping. I think this is probably the best look with a little, like a 45 degree angle, but um, the tree here, as you probably already saw, is a function. Um, there's a little knob right here, or not a knob, but like an axle, and you just flip it up, and it lands. And that just kind of symbolizes a tree getting blown up, or whatever. There's another function, I really like this one. You can see there's a little knob here, and it moves side to side, and it moves these two uh, uh, lift arms. And basically what it does is if you turn it side to side, and knocks the two blocks off and that's really cool because you know you want to recreate the scene um, and that is really nice now coming on to the back you can see that there's actually a little bit of revealing after you open it if you close it it's just like this but when you open it there's a little crate and if you turn this it knocks out a crate and this is supposed to symbolize um, Luke's lightsaber being in there and you can just store that up and put that back and close it up and that's really nice I feel like the top here doesn't look that great I feel like that looks unfinished but I think that's the only unfinished looking part of the mock or not the mock this set so with that out of the way time to get into the final thoughts now overall, I do like this set, do not get me wrong, but I believe that there are some flaws in this that I can't overlook. One of which being the price, which is $60. This is like, I believe 405 piece or something like that, but um, I feel like this should have been a 40 or $50 set at most. And especially for the size and that, I feel like that should have been it. But other than that, I feel like this should have been a bigger set. So not only are they making it a little bit too expensive, they're making it expensive without making the set bigger itself. I feel like if they took this half and put it on this side, which looks like they almost did, and then you have that uh, kind of fraying out on both sides, that would look so good. And you could recreate the entrance, and it would, I think that would be perfect. But they didn't do that. And they kind of, I feel like it's a cop-out almost. Um, but regardless, this is what they did. And I can't say I like it, but I can say that what they were trying to go for, they did. And it looks pretty good overall. I do like this selection of minifigures, but I believe that you should wait to go on sale to buy this set. But overall, it is a solid set. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. So thanks for watching.